Hi everyone, this is Clydeen Helmuth and I'm going to be showing you another stenciling technique using my new stencils with Ranger and the Crafters Workshop. So these are the six stencils here. And what the one that I'm gonna use for this technique again um, is, is the flower because I want an all over pattern. So what we are going to be doing is creating texture using the stencils and gesso and the Claudine Helma Studio gesso comes in a four ounce jar and also this mini size as well and I'm going to be working on a craft tag here so this is what the packaging looks like and they come in a variety of sizes through Ranger I'm working on the size five but you can use whatever you want and again this will stick to whatever a surface a um, gesso will stick to so that's fabric wood metal, all kinds of surfaces. So this is the flower stencil that we're going to be using. And here is my well-loved flower stencil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on top of the tag and take my gesso. Let me get it positioned. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my gesso and just draw a line at the top with the nib. And then I'm going to take an extra tag, and I like using the manila paper of the tags uh, to scrape the gesso through the, ta uh, the gesso through the stencil because it, it has some flexibility to it. And I don't know, it just works really good for me. So I'm just going to scrape it down. And it looks like I need a little bit more gesso. It got nicely in that flower, but not in the other areas. So I think I'll be a little bit more liberal with my gesso and place it in a line in a couple different areas like that. And scrape again. That's more like it. So just continue scraping across the tag until you've got the gesso through all the areas of the stencil that you'd like it to go. And you want to kind of go in a couple different directions to get into all those little stencil areas. And I always think that this works best with an all over pattern image, but you could do it with any any type of stencil. All right, so now we're going to lift that up. And that turned out pretty good. I don't know if you can see it there on camera. Let me hold it a little closer, but you can see the texture. There we go. You can see the texture in there. So now I'm going to let this dry, or you can go ahead and dry it with the craft tool, and it'll dry a lot faster for you. So while the tag is drying, we need to clean up some of this gesso. And um, the gesso is the main thing that really builds up on the stencils. Uh, the paint is usually a little bit thinner, so you don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to spray all around here. This is just the mister with water in it, and this is my first pass at getting the gesso off and if you move pretty quickly and the gesso is not completely dry it comes off very easily so just remove that and then if you have any dried on gesso where it's kind of lumpy and bumpy and it's starting to make your stencil not work how you want, you can wipe down your stencil using uh, rubbing alcohol. And that, that works great. It will remove the paint and your stencil will act like new again. So now my tag is completely dry and let me just show you some of the texture here. So it's not super thick, but definitely enough to add some interest to your surface. Now you could do this over book pages or as a background or really anything. I just think it, it looks amazing. So you could just leave it like this even, but let's add a little bit of color to it. So I've got my sky blue paint from the Claudine Helmuth Studio line. It comes in the two ounce size or this little mini size. And all I'm going to do is just squeeze a little bit out and then I'm going to add just a couple sprays of water from the mister and 
using my brush. So these are the brushes. They come in a pack like that. Using my brush, mix it around. And you want it to be really nice and watery, almost like a tea stain or watercolor. And I'm going to brush right over the whole tag. And this is kind of interesting because the yellow of the manila paper is coming through the blue and making a whole new color. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and just dab here and there to bring out the gesso area. And you could even come in with a little bit more paint if you want it darker in some areas. I like to add more after my first pass and continue blotting. Or maybe even add another color. So this right here is the classic teal. Just a little bit darker. And I'm going to mix that in and just bring it in very gently around, just in a few areas and then blot again with my paper towel. So you can keep playing with it until you get the look that you want, but you get the general idea there. Now you can definitely do this on top of sticky back canvas, wood. Now metal won't work quite as well. It needs to be porous surface in the background, but old dictionary papers, maps, scrapbook papers, all kinds of things like that. 